Our professional grade, Kalen, shows that there's life after a slow start for both sides. Yeah, I mean, these are two different teams from when they met earlier in the season. He is the centerpiece, the one they can find as that safety valve to play direct and then bring others into play, bringing in Durkin, Kudi Pietro, and Kleek in behind him. He's going to have to be the one to facilitate and find moments to make a difference for a four and Lasseter up top. Well, away we go from the side of the All-Star game, coming up in July, Audi Field in Washington. Hasn't occurred yet. O'Brien with a touch. Out wide. Go to the 18. On net. And the mace. And the stop made by Sirwa for CF Montreal. That last touch. Header. And a goal. Rising up for it for DC United is Donovan Pines. 1-0 DC. They get the first goal tonight against Montreal. from the short corner here. They play it short, find it to click with good service over the top, and Donovan Pines just gets up so well, elevates, 6-5, the center back, finds the right trajectory towards that back post. It comes at such a crucial time for DC. They've been able to apply pressure, especially from wide areas. And the set piece, the center back, comes through in a big way, right before halftime to give DC United the lead they so desperately needed. Just 1-7 right. overall, they're 6 and 8 Who draws for CF Montreal in 2023. Away we go. Pretty much from there, it's been pretty predictable from Montreal. Haven't had a second option as far as that ability to have possession as opposed to going direct to a four. Bryce Duke, part of the pocket. Into the books with the yellow card in the 51st minute. The first player in a caution tonight in D.C. Durkin crosses. Paulson. Into the 18. Benteke knocked down. Fired on net. Deflection. Ted Kuda Pietro for DC United. And the home side with a 2 0 lead against Montreal. And then Caleb Carr, you can say, was well earned. Well worked here from DC United. Swinging it side to side, using that width. Cuts it back across to Benteke, and it's always going to be the secondary option. Cudi Pietro does so well there just to track that one as it comes off for anything to knock down. Gets the first one right and just guides it to that back post. It stood up well from Paulson, and Benteke is always going to challenge, but when you have two center backs drop onto him, that's going to leave a third man as an option, and Cudi Pietro happy to take it. Steps up in the moment that matters always just... 21 years old. Runs well along with Sudisi Ibrahim. And the spots he'll take of Duke, as well as Napolainen for Montreal. A man down as well for the visitors in the box. I, lo I looked over at Losada. Bernadeschi in Toronto FC in here. It's another opportunity. Two goal margin. Wanyama plays it through. Ibrahim with Miller out. And the stop made on one run by Ibrahim in this first minute into the game. It's a nice fun by Wanyama, followed by match next Saturday against Minnesota. Off the giveaway, Wanyama, Lasseter in the 18, fires off the post, ricochets, a corner kick on the way for DC United. Big can for the crowd at Audi Field. Yeah, well deserved as well. Cudi Pietro, a fan favorite here. Of course, the homegrown has scored some important goals. Lasseter, header, and it's in! Ibrahim times it and scores, and Montreal within one here in the 80th minute. Not so fast. You can see here it comes with a, just a wonderful ball in from Lasseter, who gets to the end line and stands it up for Ibrahim, who does a fantastic job just lobbing it over Miller to that back post. Last year's leading goal scorer for East United. Misplay, Ibrahim stuck in there, Pines misplayed it, the cross, top of the six, and they score! It's Lasseter from Ibrahim! Two goals to tie it in two minutes! Wow! Two all at Audi Field, it's changed courtesy of Montreal! How quickly one can, can become two comes from the direct ball from Waterman and a 
failed clearance here from Pines, you have to say it's a big miss there. Just ask that question, it's a wonderful ball in behind there from Ibrahim to find Lassiter. And just in an instant, when you think DC have this game in full control. All the way out, Santos serves it in. Benteke header is wide! Opportunity here for DC United, and Waterman is late to release here, unable to stop that service. And if you allow that ball in the box to Benteke, you're asking for trouble there. That just goes inches wide. Find that space in the box, and from there, compounded their mistake by staying switched off. Next thing you know, one becomes two. Montreal right back in it. Get rewarded with an incredible road result here. One point for Ernest Lasada and Montreal.